brother Billy. My little brother Anthony. Say, brother Billy. Yeah. I'm looking different today, I know, but you know what's different? Because I have what I call an accoutrement. A little mm. trinket here, an accoutrement. Mm. I, I don't actually know what that word means. I just use it because it sounds like it's supposed to be something important. You know? So I'm saying that's something important. Now, what's, what's nice about this, you see, it goes with my outfit, with my garments that I'm wearing today. You see? Now, my grandmother would be proud because, you know, when I was a kid going to school, you know, we would go out and sometimes we wouldn't be matched up. And she'd say, boy, where you going looking like that? Get back in there and put some, you know, we had to coordinate ourselves, you know. Saying it was a big thing. So from, from the childhood, I had to always coordinate myself. I had to, things had to go with each other, you know. But let me tell you, I got this little mom. I was at, you know, we got hogs back up here, and every end of July, they always have this thing called Christmas in July at the hogs back, uh, 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 I guess it's a town, village, uh, it's a small place, you know, so a lot, a lot of tourists like to go there, Lady Madonna, Waterfall, you know, 39 steps, whatever it is, you know. Anyway, they had the thing, and there was this guy there, you know, and he, and he had a whole lot of, like, American Indian stuff. We got to talking because he saw my, uh, my my red cloud button that I, I have. Anyway, so we got to talking, and I said, "Well, you know, well, uh, what's your what's your heritage?" You know? He says his his great grandfather was a from the from the uh, 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 Seneca Nation, I think it was was this no the Seneca Nation up there in New York, and it ended up that he you know grandfather went uh, somehow got anyway he's from he's from one of the, oh, that's that's on his, his his paternal side is his his father's side, but he ended up, the grandfather ended up in Hungary, of all places. And, 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 and there, you know, and here from there, he ends up, he's, he's, he's South African, but he's heavy into the Native American kind of way of life, you know. And so we got to talking, and I was talking about the Red Cloud thing and how I got it and everything like that, this American Indian, you know, uh, you know from the Lakota Nation gave it to me. And, and then, it, you see, I said, but you know, I have this strange thing that I have to do something for the Lakota Nation. Not do something, but I mean, we have struggles all over the world. But you know, there's a song that goes, uh, We who believe in freedom cannot rest. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a civil rights song, you know. And so, but, but I'm thinking like, even when you, like for instance, the end of apartheid, so-called end of apartheid, that doesn't mean you just start struggling. Now you got rid of apartheid, now you got to struggle for other nations, other liberation struggles. So I'm in constant drug struggle. And my ultimate goal is to, you know, free the, you know, have freedom and, 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 and peace for Lakota Nation. You know, the American Indians up there. Montana stuff like that. Anyway, I bring all this up this just to say he was talking, he said, well you know, uh, there's people all over the world. It's like a fabric that they're connected with this same thought. I said, you know, I travel a lot, you're right. Sometimes I look at somebody and I feel it. They, it's almost like they were walking with just this instant recognition, like, you know, if, it, if the stuff came down today, I'd be in the trenches with you, brother. That kind of, and this is just not brothers, this is women, men, you know, all ages, sizes. I, I was kind of thinking about that. I said, you know, especially in this day and age, I think there's a lot of us who understand struggle and, you know, we're not going to go out there and get ourselves, you know, obliterated. But there's a lot of struggle going on in the world today because the forces aligned against struggle. They, they've had a lot, of, a lot of times to put their little stuff in place. And I've been reading for a long time. I mean, remember when I was a, again, when I was a kid, you know, my grandmother, I used to read a lot. And I read this book, and they were saying how, like in the 20s, it was a novel, how in the 20s, like the, I'm going to say the forces, let's call them the colonialist. The colonial forces uh, were, 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 were putting stuff in place, bankers and stuff like that, to basically uh, fleece the system, what, what they call these days the game system, you know? And this has been the 20s. They've been going on, going on. This is whole thing's happening in the United States right now. I'm going to tell you what's going on. There's a, 
when the, when, the, when the slaves, you know, were free, you know, the, the thing called the 14th Amendment, the forces that aligned, that wanted to gain the system back then, made it so they slipped this thing there where corporations would get recognized in a certain level, you know. And then lo and behold, years, almost a century later, tell them, well, you know, no, I said, well, hundred years later, whatever it is, in the, in the 1980s, you had Ronald Reagan do certain things. And now the Supreme Court of the United States recognized corporations as people. So everything's in place for the powers that be or the world or that want to be to fleece the system. It's up to us who have had that understanding, who've seen this side of stuff, who, who recognize each other to make sure that doesn't happen. I don't want to draw lines, but basically it's the colonialist mentality against, here we go with Robert Sabuba, you know, Magalhães of Robert Sabuba, versus the humanist mentality. So it's the colonialist against the humanist. I don't want to say against, because a humanist, really what we do is we ignore the colonialist. What we do is we have our agenda, we have what we need to do, and we stay on it. We don't be distracted. We're not distracted by the colonialist uh, uh, the, uh, stuff that they be doing, the man be pampy stuff that they be doing. We don't ignore that. We stay on course. And sooner or later, because we're on course, we just knock them out of the way. It comes to what we call a critical mass. You see, the colonialists will not win because we who believe in freedom will not rest. That's what I believe. As an audio dramatist, I can put that in an audio drama. I can show the path in the audio drama so people understand what's going on. And anyway, this is one of those dispatches from the arts director emeritus said that would be me, T, uh, the humanist, <laughs> taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Yeah.